everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So last episode, we took on a contract and we did fairly well in it. The Halopolis lost its leg and was getting repaired. We had at least eight days of repairs. So in the ongoing conflict, I had to skip two missions and we were approaching the third one, which the Talos would have been back one day before. And just as it was, um, just as we were coming back, um, or the Talos was coming back from repair, I got this notification saying that the Free Russell High Republic has destroyed the uh, Commonwealth forces on the planet and forced them to withdraw. So we did end up with a victory, even though we didn't really do too much. I mean, we destroyed two lances in the first, uh, in the first mission, which is pretty good. And then I guess because the Russell Hag forces had, were at 20 and the uh, Lyran Commonwealth forces were at um, 9, I'm assuming we took care of three and a half skulls of that, so they may have been down to like five and a half skulls or something. So the rest of the forces were able to destroy them, which was good. So, I mean, now that we know um, we don't have to pull off every single mission like that, as long as we take one where we have overwhelming odds, we're going to get free crap no matter what, right? So I just wanted to show you guys this so I didn't get it between episodes. But here's the, uh, the payout, a 290 core. Half ton of mortar flare ammo, C3 unit imps, a streak four, uh, <laughs> some heavy jump jets, uh, carrier Mark II salvage, six medium pulse lasers, three. F How do you justify that, guys? Why would you put three, six medium pulse lasers in a vehicle that can only move three five? I guess if it was going to be sitting in the middle of a city, sure, but like. You're not even going to close with the enemy. Anyway, whatever. So we picked up a ton of heavy jump jets, which is nice. We got some in the last episode too, but not much else really. The 290 core is nice though. All right, so we got one more day till the Talos is back. Let's just bring it back. We're on a three skull world, so we do have the opportunity to do some work here. So um, let's quickly, be before we do that, let's go to... Um, the mech bay, just to double check the mechs we do have to make sure that they all came back okay, they did perfect uh, go to storage real quick, now we do have the ability to put together an Orion, now I don't know which one we're going to put together I mean we still got to bring the Mackie forward too which means we need like sea bills again uh, so we need to pull some missions off for sea bills So I'm thinking that the, the Mackie would bec become a replacement for the Holopolis. And the Orion would become a replacement for the Wolverine. Because I have to keep the first three mechs. That's the whole idea behind, behind Inheritance. Is those first three mechs are our Inheritance, so they got to stay in the battle. But maybe they become the second Lance. Or the primary Lance with the Light Lance with the Jenner in it. So we go with the the three main mechs. The Talos, the Shadowhawk, or sorry, um... The Griffin 2C, Cephalus, and the Jenner. And then we run the Heavy Lance with the Mackie, the Orion, Holopolis, and the Wolverine. We have enough for two other mechs, but maybe we fill those with vehicles instead. We got a Panther C we can put together. So that can go in the primary lance, run a lighter lance. And then what would go in the, the other one? We have enough for a Mongoose too. Yeah, the other one, I mean, we could just put the rotary record together. I mean, the armor is okay, the speed is, yeah. But the rotary heavy rotary rifle has got half-decent range to it, so... It does good damage to armor, too, so, I mean... That could go in that, that big lance, but we need money. So that's what we're going to be focusing on, I think, for the next little bit. I think I'll forego... I mean, those those contracts are nice because you've got good C-bill payout and stuff, but... If it's going to force us to be doing three and a half skull fights every time, the lances that, like the lance that we have right now, is it's not going to be lucrative. Like let's just put it that way, right? It's going to cost us more. Like the Halopolis is up for twenty three days now, right? It's going to end up costing us more in the long run, um, in downtime. So uh, we're going to try and take some other missions. So let's go to the barracks first and get our pilots up to snuff a little bit here. So we got grip with a lot of points here. So let's go up tactics. Um, let's go with some initiative here. And who else do we have here? I oh, sorry, that was Granite. This is Griff. Uh, Griff, we're holding out for gunnery. Awaiting orders. Killjoy. Um, 
What did we say we were going to do with you? I mean, you're piloting the Griffin, right? I mean, we could... I mean, we could go Phantom Mech. Or do we go Tactics with you? I mean, we could keep Killjoy in the main lance and have her run the Jenner. And if we go Phantom Mech with the Jenner, as well as with the Cephalus, we're going to have two really light mechs that can speed in, do back strikes under the guise of Phantom Mech, and then dart out again. I mean, that's a possibility. So let's go with a point here and a point here in Guts so that you don't chicken shit out and bail out. Let's go that route. Confirmed, Commander. Waiting for orders. Lethal, you can uh, hold off for now because you're not doing anything just yet. Waiting for orders. Uh, Mothman, we're piloting the... Um, yeah. Let's hold off for gunnery. Piloting the, um, the, uh, my god, Nidhogg. Jesus, brain dying hey. on me. All right, you, uh, piloting is giving us more vehicle speed. You got so, she started out with so much experience to start with, right, which is why she's doing so well here. Yeah, let's go with more vehicle speed. Getting the extra speed on the, those Ultra 20s is going to be nice. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, extra 35 meters per turn. Yeah. Sturm. Going up the gunnery tree. You want to add a bit of piloting at the same time? Yeah, I mean, less chance to be knocked over, I guess. Well, better piloting for being knocked over. Sure. Complete. Then we'll work towards getting this final one up here. And then Taser Face, we're going for gunnery, I believe. Are we not? Or are we going for tactics on you? Yeah, we're not getting any bonus to initiative for tactics, so we'll stay for gunnery. No, we're saving Phantom Mech. That was what it was. Right. Better not. I better not friggin' buy gunnery. Probably happen. Then I'll have to spend money to friggin' to reset our points. Um, Alright, Command Center. What do we got going on here? Um... Wait, actually, before I do that, I want to check the store. I don't think we checked the store when I arrived, so... Interested to see what could be there. So, Zukov Heavy Tank. Pair of AC-10s and SRM-6, 3-5 movement. half decent armor. Thumper Artillery Vehicle. Thumper Cannon. That's a lot of armor for 4-6 movement as well. That's actually not bad. Thumper ammo is like how many rounds? 30 rounds of Thumper. It's actually not bad. Bolt-on-5 incendiary, ER large, remote sensor missiles, IFF Mark 1. Mm. Yeah, nothing I really want here. Okay. What do we got here, though? Take off your shoes. Make right, we got some low two skulls, some two and a halves, or sorry, three and a halves. This is target acquisition. Uh, with the Talos, though. Talos and the Wolverine, we just... I don't know if we have the speed for this. So this is the one in the desert, which I believe is the one where you kind of got to have to go up over a couple of hills. If I'm not mistaken. You got to kind of go up the hill, and there's a marker on the left-hand side in a valley, a marker on the first hill, and then marker behind the actual base. It's a tricky one. If you've got fast mechs with good armor, it's not so bad. But at three and a half skulls, that's a questionable one. That's a recovery. So it's going to be two lances, probably. Oh, it's one facility. So that'll be a one lance versus one lance. 
Capturing a base, this is good sea bills. Let's go this route. Two nine or three twelve. At two skull. Let's go two nine. I can't be. Uh, I mean, there might be some stuff that we want here, maybe, but I don't know. All right, Sturm, uh, you were not intended to run this mech. Technically, it's going to end up being a Killjoy mech. So let's switch these around then. I know she's got bonus to uh, Wolverine piloting, but it's only at 10 right now, which really doesn't give her much, I don't think. What is the uh, Wolverine's affinity? It's 20, isn't it, for the first one? Yeah, minus 10% en da energy damage taken. And then one tactics for the Lance. See, that's actually pretty good. What's this guy's? Short medium range accuracy plus four minimum range accuracy. Yeah, this is going to be amazing backstabber. Guts piloting. Bonus health. That's going to be a really good backstabber. This is a clan mech, so it's got a lot more. Right? Sig minus 15 signature invisibility plus one local e ECM. Guts piloting. Bonus health. Crit resistance. God, 140. Imagine doing 140 missions with this thing. Probe and local ECM. Minus 15 stick. That's pretty damn good. How many missions is she up to now? Come on. How many you got? Oh, come on. Twenty, no, thirty-six. So that's given us. We almost got the crit resistance, so we got the piloting, the guts, and everything. Local ECM, that's yeah, pretty good, actually. All right. No, we don't have the piloting guts. We're almost there. Right, because there's two things at forty. All right. Cool. Anyway, no big deal. Um, actually, I'm interested to see what Griff's got here. Thirty-seven on the on the Talos. Which gives us not much. Defense and melee defense. And then we got plus one to all pilot skills. It's going to be really nice. All right, let's go. Met warriors, for Command interface initiated. Okay, let's see how easy this one ends up being. There's the facility there. Oh, yeah, I haven't played on this map in a long time either. Well, this is a hellhole. Okay, so they got a lance defending it. Now normally when you when you started this match, you started here. And you kind of pushed in this way. We could start anywhere. So let's start. Oh, you know what? This is the same map we were just on. Just reconfigured a different way. You're playing a different section of it. Nice way to uh, recycle maps. Let's get behind the hill here. We'll drop in right here. Yeah, so we don't get... I guess if we're choosing our drop location, we don't get spawn immunity. Which I guess kind of stops you from dropping like or almost like right on top of the enemy. Yes, Commander. Which would make sense. I don't mind it that much. Alright, see what we're up against here. Looks like a bunch of vehicles here. Hunter, large laser weapons carrier. Ooh, a Marauder. Ooh, and I didn't think we were going to face another Marauder for a while. Let's see if we can get two pieces off this thing. I live to serve. I mean, we're getting two salvage. Let's see if we can get the two Marauder pieces, eh? Got it, Commander. That's actually not a bad primary lance, then. We'd have a Mackie, Colopolis... The uh, Marauder yes, and the Orion. Nice big juicy heavy lance. I mean, against all these fast mechs, that Marauder's toast. Orders. Do, 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 do. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the launcher on this thing. Okay, we got another vehicle. Oh, another shadow. We got a shadow hawk over there. Okay. Confirmed. 
Sure, might as well get a couple points in while we can. We're over here, Dirk. Let's go. Bring it up. We got time. We don't got much time. Where are you going? You know what it is? Our reputation precedes us. He's like, damn, it's the inheritance crew. Get the hell out of here. Not shooting the thunderbolt. That thing's a direct fire weapon to me. I need a good chance to hit for me to use it. What can I do? Go, Griff. We need you up here. Pedal to the metal. Our SM1 is like buried in the sand. It's the sand kicked up from the leopard. When it left, it just kind of buried the SM1 in the dirt. I hope it's not stuck. Is it? I'm here. No, it just looks like it is. It's just completely buried in there. All right, get up here. I'll try. Start to gain some speed. Marauder, we're coming for you. Orders? All right, Mr. Mothman Prophecy. See if we can get some early damage in on this vehicle here. We should just try and kill the guy that's running away, but... A little better chance on this guy, so we'll take it. You know, I just realized I didn't use the ATGMs in the last last battle, and I probably should have. Um, yeah, I don't think we need it on this guy, though. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? It is. Commander. Your uh, ability to remain in this unit was contingent on destroying that vehicle, and since you missed, well... Yeah, uh, we're just going to have to, um, you know, let you go. I'm still reading enemy contacts, Commander. Are you? need to secure the area before you can proceed. That's weird. I don't see anybody, Darius. Can you tell me where they are? We haven't encountered anybody down here. I don't know what he's talking about. It's all quiet in the western front. Oh yeah, we still do have that hunchback too that I put in storage, so we can pull that back out too if we needed to put, add another mech to the lance. Because maybe we go with five per lance. Where, where the fuck is that guy going? We put the wolverine in the uh, assault lance and then the hunchback in the uh, lighter lance. Confirm. That might do it. Although I, I like the wolverine in the lighter lance because then if we need some armor, you know, we can just put that thing up front because it's, you know, fairly heavy. Locked on. Well, heavy compared to what we already have here. Waiting on you, Commander. Commander. Come on, buddy. See if you can finish this vehicle off for me. Ah, sure. Roger. Got a side shot on him. Okay, Swarms did a little bit of damage. Oh, fuck, stop running away. Just dragging things out. I should just occupy this base and get the next lance in here. Now I better not do that. As fun as that sounds, it just I just see dollar signs. Just seeing dollar signs. I think he's got one large laser. Damage is minor, Commander. Is it? I couldn't tell if he hit you or not. I guess he did. Yeah, for a little bit. Okay. What now? Starting to get that speed going. Hey. I think you can probably stay with the lighter guys. Just don't go in the trees. Aye, aye. Mm, let's go here. Call it ass.
So stealth is activated. Just not getting the same effects that we're getting with the Nova CEWS. Alright. Fair enough. We gotta do something about the heat situation in this guy too. On these warmer planets. Uh, what side is that? Other side. No, this side. There we go. Beautiful. We drew first blood. We drew first blood. It's a marauder. Roger. Yeah, I know. What's the worst thing he could have? A couple of PPCs? Which I'm sure he does. Ah, uh, sure. Let's add some sensors over there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the reinforcements come from back here. But... Commander? It could technically be anywhere. Why does it always do that? Okay, let's Rolling. get up here. These guys don't know which way to turn. That's actually pretty good for this, so we'll use that as well. And hopefully we get a back shot on them. Target lock on enemy six. Nice. Nice. Capitalizing on it. AC-10, couple large lasers. Oh, pulse lasers. Oh. Structure exposed. Where are they? My armor's Rotor. Breached. Bet you it's a rotor hit. Yeah. Totally rotor hit. Who do I take a pot shot? 24%. 32. 21. Sure, let's take a pot shot. Why not? I don't like doing that. Seems like a waste of a missile, but it did hit, so. Just proving me wrong. So that's, that's what it does. I say I don't like something, and then it proves me wrong. We still gotta go here. Oh, we got the uh, Griffin and the uh, SM1 still. I think we'll bring the Griffin this way and the SM1 will go around this way. Mm, actually, no, those two better go around the outside. What can I do for you? Because once we pop this, got it. Max speed. I want to have these guys all together, the light guys. Plus, these guys can all be ECM protected over here hey. with the Cephalus, so. Getting that speed moving. Going as fast as I can. Ramping it up. We are in strike range now. Who's up? Commander. You are. Going to full throttle. Alright, first shot in this thing. Let's see what it's like. I mean, we need targeting computers, but... Eh, 42 is not bad. Sure. Affirmative. Eh, not bad. It's got the narc on. Ready for orders. Not gonna run the risk of this on thing dropping way. before the end of Double the match, shot. so... Pull it back. It's done its job. I got them uh, to back up and pay attention to this side. Yes, Commander. All right, you open them up. This guy will finish him off. I hope. Ropping. That's a lot of evasion. Pretty good chance to hit too. Engaging. Just can't hit the spot I want. No SRMs remaining. 
Just can't hit the spot I want. Yeah, you know the threat. He knows what's coming. Yes, Commander. All right, Granite. Um, let's get into here. On my way. Oh shit! Am I in the actual? Oh, I'm not. Okay, good. I thought I went into the uh, circle there for a second. Let's just target this guy. I got it. Need you to get on this Copy guy. That. See if we can make him unstable, knock his ass over. That would be nice. These can come off for now. Uh, let's we'll switch this guy to SRMs, put some Infernos on him. He should be heating up pretty good here. He's not. Waiting on you, Commander. Because he's super cool. Baha ha ha. Baha. See what I did there? <laughs> It's a heat sink joke, you get it? Yeah, maybe you didn't. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Does it matter? No, we're gonna shoot him with this stuff. Here it comes. Oof. Yeah, I'm enjoying the loadout in this Griffin now. I mean, he's still not landing the lasers as often as he should, I think, but... He's doing alright. He's doing alright. You're just gonna keep going, are you? Just... I'll see you when you come around the other side of the planet. We'll wait here for you. Alright, who's this? The Shadowhawk. Alright. Still going after the Nidhogg, eh? Trying to get that last little kill, I guess. What now? Throw the thing up. Alright. See if we can get this guy. If we land one shot in the back with this Ultra 20, this thing's this guy's screwed, so. Uh, we don't need to go full of machine guns, I don't think. It's actually not a bad chance to hit, so we're taking it. Damn it! I got him! Got him with the machine guns. Beautiful. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Are ya? Looks like enemy reinforcement. Uh, enemy reinforcements. Let's get together then, guys. Hmm. Not the best positioning. So we got this turn and the next turn, I think, before they arrive. So, oh, wait, they're there. Alright, there's an Owens, Shadowhawk. So we're going to get away from that side, I think. Let's get right on this guy, though. All right, cut the narc on him. Yep. A little too close for the thunderbolt. How's that? That's much better. Got, got ourselves it. turned. Got another guy over there. Looks like a spider or something. But it's probably in Sazi or something. Firing on top. Enough to knock him over. Should be. Reporting. Yep. Have a seat, buddy. You look tired. No, it's a hunchback and a mongoose. Okay. Commander. Let's not be over there, okay? Good Let's get go. into here. I'm gonna try and pull the legs off this thing. All right. How much you got? Fifteen in the leg. This leg is full. Let's go for this leg. And we'll turn this guy off. It's all the same chance to hit. Let's just go with three. Firing. Sure. Hit the place where there's armor. Ready for orders. Totally meant to do that. Uh, turn that off. Go here. Affirmative. Okay, got the leg. Did we get the leg or we get the torso? Leg. Okay, good. I'm ready. Um. Sure. Location confirmed. 
Add a bit of fire suppression down the down the pipeline here. Leave that off. Engaging. Oh, it hit the mongoose. I was gonna say, well, I wonder if it'll miss the the hunchback and connect against that mongoose. It sure as hell did. Hunter's finally coming. Oh, is he coming back or is he going away still? Still coming forward, are you? Oof, that was a torso hit on this guy. I hear ya. Reduced damage due to range, so not much we could do there. Shit, I guess I gotta like cover this guy's back, I guess. I mean, it's not optimal, but that's what we're gonna do. Okay, AC 10 back, so not too bad. 4-H has got no armor on the backside, so the uh, SM1 should be able to shred it if it gets in there real close. Still going against that guy, eh? I guess they kind of see it as a one-shot kill if they can get the rotor, I'm here. which would make sense. I should just give this thing a pasting. Um... Don't like the angle. That's a better angle. I was going to say if I miss and hit the cephalus, 100, 100 point damage on the cephalus is not a good thing. That. Or do we just go for the kill? Okay, did we get the leg? May have. Alright, go after the griffin. Owen, yeah, we did get the leg. Owen still hasn't gone yet. So if we get the two legs on this guy, I think it's three salvage out of five. Which isn't bad. But he still has to go, which means he's going to get up and move and shoot us. So I don't know who he's going to shoot at. Could be the Talos. Could be the SM1. We'll see. Yep. Wait a minute. What? How? Am I missing something here? Okay. I didn't think mechs that only had one leg were able to melee. Well, never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I'm arguing. There he goes. I guess I have to do a comprehensive read of the rules regarding melee because it just seems to be really bizarre. How are you doing for heat wise? You're pretty hot. So let's get up over here. Let's get you into a striking position. I think you're probably going to be the, the hunchback's nemesis here. Put those ready to go. Waiting for orders. All right, let's do some fire suppression here. Uh, what are we going to shoot at? I guess somebody over here. Maybe the Owens? It's going to be hard to hit the Owens, though. 29. Yeah, much better here. Take that shot. Everything hit. Beautiful. Soften them up. Awaiting orders. Um, yeah, you got to cool off, so let's just move behind the Talos. Roger that. You can dart in next turn. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, I'm liking the loads of the max, but they were just a little toasty on these kind of worlds, so got to be very metal careful. The Although the Griffin's running really, like really, uh, really well. This combat shotgun. I mean, having that that nice big ballistic weapon that doesn't generate any heat is really nice. Roger that. Firing on target. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Good to go. You know what to say to that. He's gonna take it, but he ain't gonna like it. All right, move up over I'm here. Happy. I know we're supposed to capture this base, but it's probably gonna be completely wrecked by the time we're done here. 
Uh, let's put the, some sensors down in there and switch this up to uh, the uh, swarm. Let her rip. I don't think we'll hit the um, hunchback with it, but we might. Yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. So the hunchback still has to go. Hopefully he'll move forward enough that we can get the SM1 on him. All right, not bad. Reporting light damage. <laughs> All right, Steve. I'm receiving you. Some days I just missed my brother. What the fuck is that guy doing back there? There's some weird AI going on ever since the elementals became a thing. It's just some we really weird AI happening. So it's like, I, I don't even know what to, to, to say to some of that. Like, no. why is that guy... <laughs> and you saw with the, cell, the Seth stealth bomber, it was like on us and then just kind of flew away and then did nothing. So, I mean, it is what it is. Let's just use everything on this guy. Nothing. Failed to connect. You did. Come on, I need my money so I can put together a uh, Orion. And maybe an Amara. Actually, I think I think the Marauder would go first. Barely hit, Commander. So there's something cool about the Marauder chassis. I mean, the Orion's not bad either, but it's kind of big and clunky looking, though. Come on. You can do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What now? What do you think, kiddo? Who do you want to eat for breakfast today? Uh, definitely not him. And not him. And not him. Mm-hmm. Let's go to a secondary range. We're going to drop our, any recoil that we might have. Well, that's actually not bad. We'll just fire the one shot with some machine gun rounds. Okay. Eh, a couple points. Yeah, we'll double shoot it next turn when we're real close. Is that hunter coming back or is he still going? Oh, for fuck's sake, you're going to make me chase him down too. Oh. I don't know where he's going. I don't know where he's going. Yes, Commander. There we go, that's close range. Yo, big boy, what's up? I got something for you. Copy that. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Wait till the Ultra 20 shows up, though. Short range missiles remaining. Standing by. Wait for the Ultra 20 to arrive. We'll keep in the trees, I think. Yeah, the Jenner's not too bad. You put it beside the Cephalus and it doesn't seem fast at all. But I mean, nothing seems fast next to the Cephalus. Except for maybe a few hovercraft. Uh, yeah, that guy's got a lot of energy weapons, so let's put some of this on him. Firing a full salvo. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, he's narc, though. Aye, aye. Nice, I gotta fire right past the mongoose to hit him. Let's see what that shot is. Yeah, the mongoose is like right here, so hopefully if I don't get the connection, it'll hit the mongoose. Roger that. Nope. Yes, Commander. I'm just a little more accurate than I thought. Alright, uh... Let's 
Get into here. Get some flank on so maybe we can get these guys turning and get some back shots on them. And we'll fire it all. Target. Yes. Target's taking a critical hit. Stripped off two of his missile. weapons anyway. Three of them. So was it probably a fluid gun and two, uh, the two diverse optics medium lasers that went? We're at what, 15? Who's 15? Oh, the uh, mongoose. So the SM goes on 12, which is be before their three guys. So we're going to try and come around behind the hunchback and finish him up. Oh, here comes the ridiculousness. We'll speed past you and then do a full charge from behind. Yep, it's exactly what he did. What can I do for you? Going turbo. Can't let that pass. Sorry. No sweat. Free kill. Did you see that? Did you see it? I did. Hopefully the people that are developing melee see that too. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I got such a hate on for melee. I know people love it. And I'm playing it in my Duelist series, so I'm giving it a shot. What do you need? It's just... I don't know. I think even if I end up loving it, I'm still going to say I hate it just, be, just, just because... <laughs> just out of spite. Just to tick some people off. Um... I don't need the sensors. Oh, fuck it. Don't throw them on. Why not? I'm going to end up getting a head hit or something. And... No, oh, one heat. Nice. Got past his armor. Excellent. I'm here. All right, kiddo. That, uh... Ooh, we can't get through the trees. Oh, doesn't matter, though. Wait, that's not far enough. Really? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. We got some abilities here. Let's go right there. Yeah, see the sensors are... Okay, perfect. I think they changed the way the sensors work. Because before we would drive through the sensors... Oh wait, he's a hovercraft. That's right. I think he goes over them. It doesn't matter. I think the sensors don't detect him. Yeah, we got some recoil happening on this thing. So not much we can do about it. But we might connect. Yeah, we did. That was a torso hit, I think. No, arm hit. Because of course it was. Sure. At least this thing is fast enough to go hunt down that hunter. We got lots of ammo, so we should be able to kill him with the, with the Ultra 20 eventually. And the Cephalus is fast enough to hunt it down too, so... Yeah, you better run. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot. I think it, I don't know. I still don't know what the, what's up with the melee. The charging, I'm not big on. Uh, you know what it is? The funny thing is too is I remember um, watching a documentary about, and I know the modern day vehicles aren't this way, but I remember watching a, a um, documentary about the Mark One. Uh, British tank, right? It was the one with the treads that go around the side. It's a very... The, the first land ship, right? It's a very um, distinct looking vehicle. But um, they were showing the king this thing and what it could do. And it climbs up this hill and comes over, right? And then slams down and then rolls forward and stops. And then two crew members get out and they're, the, he, the king's there like, Oh my god, the thing is so amazing. It can cross trenches and do this and that. What he didn't realize is there was another nine guys inside that were completely unconscious from the thing. <laughs> when it when it came and slammed down, it just they were just tossed around and just were all they were just all unconscious. So it's like the only guys that came out were the ones that weren't unconscious, right? So it's like it's like oh uh, yeah, it's 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 great. Just we got to figure out how to get it to work right. But and and then you think you know okay, that's like you know. The very, very first tank, right? I get that. 
But then you take a vehicle moving at, you know, 90, like 100 kilometers an hour, right? And then it just slams into something. I don't care how seat belted the crew are. If you watch, you watch, I mean, you you must have seen those videos with the, uh, um, the uh, crash test dummies, right? And how badly, like even with even when the uh, when they crash into something, it's like the airbags that pretty much most of the time save them. So, what? Like all the vehicles have airbags in them that go off when they crash into shit. All, like the mech's got an airbag in it that crashes off when you slam into something at full speed. Got it. And come to a complete stop. Like that's the thing. You're going 100 kilometers an hour, and then you stop. Yes, commander. So, you know, and you could argue, it's like, oh, it's like tackling somebody in football, you know, you're going to kind of blow through them and knock them over. Sure, and when you tackle somebody in football, you go down with them most of the time, unless you're hitting them and slamming into them, right? But that's, there's a big difference between going 10 kilometers an hour as a piece of meat, slamming into somebody the same weight as you, as, you know, going 100 kilometers an hour being in a, like, a massive piece of metal, slamming into somebody. It's a Confirmed. completely different thing. Out of SRM. But punching and kicking, I'm fine with. Like, I hear you. But there's got to be a limitation how far you're, you're allowed to run before you can't kick anybody anymore. You know, and the, uh, somebody mentioned something about like, you know, you run and you like you punt it like a football, and it's like, okay, cool. You're, you're a 50 ton mech and you're gonna punt a 50 ton vehicle like a football you're not you're gonna punt a 50 ton vehicle like a football and your legs your, your leg is gonna be completely destroyed right you got to have a, some kind of speed limitation yeah right or distance traveled before um, melee becomes like like untenable, like untenable right this should be good. Nice. But like I said, I'm totally, I'm still fine with the punching and kicking and things like that. Even pushing would be fine. Hey. Okay, do I finish you or do I go, what turn are we at? 14? No, I, I can't. Let's, we got the speed. Let's just go after this guy. The hunter's slowly coming back for the fight. It's too little, too late, buddy. Too little, too late. Alright, we did land a shot. That's nice. I wasn't expecting to with that uh, chance to hit. Let's see what this hunchback can do here. Oh, of course. See, at that distance, sure. Although I've been going through, um, aye, aye. Uh, I believe his name is George Phillies. It's George Phillies, yeah. Uh, his game design um, online um, classes again uh, that he does for uh, classes in game design. Um, let's go this right. It's like tabletop game design, right? Firing at enemies. So I, I kind of get like. Trying to balance the rules to get them to work really well in any tabletop game, and technically, you could argue this isn't a tabletop game, but I'd argue it is. It technically is. It's just that we have animations, right? It's the only difference. Firing. Um, getting a rule set that to get it to work is extremely difficult, and then when you've got like coordinates. You know, it's built already on a pre-built game that you're stuck with the rules, kind of with. And then, Attacking you know, you're adding in mods on top of it, and I, I totally get how difficult it is. Right. There's going to be, it's going to be quite a while before they ever finish this. I'm fine with that. And if I hated Millie so much, I would have quit playing, but I just love this game too much to quit playing, you know? Waiting on you, Commander. 
Moving to position. I can't remember who it was. Someone did a battle, battle analysis of of um, mechs and how um, realistic they were for a battlefield. So for a modern battlefield, um, they're just completely yep. like. I don't want to say completely useless, but have very limited use at all, right? Because number one, they're loud, right? They're large, easily spottable, um, easily targeted. Whoops. Sorry about that, buddy. Beautiful. Now, that primary lance, um, are we allowed to finish him off? Should be able to. Apparently Mission not. Successful. Because if you think about today's modern battlefield, like you know, a guy with a laser, like a laser sight, for la laser guided weapons, is more dangerous than like a tank sometimes, right? Because he can just target multiple vehicles one after the other, while you know incoming ordnance just hammers them and destroys them. So a mech would just be like this glowing target that it would do a. Like, and how's it going to escape somebody with a laser pointer that he can't see, right? So it just would just, it just, I don't know. Just like useless for a battlefield pretty much. But it's fantastic for a game. Uh, you want the Shadowhawk, but you're going to give me four Ultra Fives? Um, yeah, I'm okay with that actually. Because I don't want the Shadowhawk pieces anyway. I want these guys. So we have the 5M already. So there's a full Marauder. As much as I should, like... Hope we get an Ultra 5. Hope it's worth it. Advanced Fire Control. Yeah, there's not really that much down here that I would really want. The Advanced Fire Control System, maybe. Uh, that's actually kind of nice. But if we get the Command Console going, we'll get 50 Sight in every, in every mech, and then I can have a different... Um, cockpit for somebody else to that'll uh, mitigate that can easily get a gunnery cockpit and we've only got caseless ammo here anyway so increased heat and jam chance which is why I don't like it so much but if we get it we get it alright let's see what we get alright we got an extra marauder part shadowhawk part light ppc streak 2 oh we did get one of the ultra 5 that's pretty good ECM and a 200 core that's actually a pretty good haul all right, a little bit of damage, not bad. Hopefully it's not too many days. So what are we at? 1.9 million, not that much. Got two months of financial reports. There's probably a couple of, um, let's manage our tasks a little better here. Wolverine, yeah, we'll go that route. Holopolis can wait till we jump, I think. We got six days to wait. We've got 17 till the financial report. Killjoy's out for 16 though. Uh, hiring hall, we need to get some more pilots too though. That's one of the other things we were looking at doing. Ooh. You're not bad. What do you got here? Berserker. So you've got a melee guy right here. Hmm. Do I put together a melee mech? People screaming, yes! Waiting on you, Commander. It's 100,000 to buy her. So she's ex-military. So the bonus health is good. Bonus morale. Increasing Lance Resolve. I mean, what have... Wolverine, I think, screams melee mech. Out of all the mechs we have, the Wolverine is the one that screams melee mech. It might be a rebuild. Let's hire her. We'll take her. New mech warriors it's very rare we see... Um, a lot of mech pilots, and this guy doesn't really have anything worth. Whoops, do we go? Receiving yeah, you. nothing there. Commander. Bookish. Let's do this. Comstar Alkalite. Mech tech. So, and technician, so one and a half mech techs for this guy. Zephyr. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hire this guy. We're going to need pilots later anyway, and even if we end up finding better pilots and drop this guy, at least we'll have like one and a half levels of extra mech tech. New mech warriors available. 
So there's two new pilots. That should put us... Is it reducing our days at all? Yeah, it did. It reduced one day off the Wolverine. And... So the Helopolis was 23 days. Now it's 22. So, I mean... Sure, one one and a half points got us a, bought us a day off a couple a couple of mechs, so that's pretty good. Now, um, what did I want to do here? Oh yeah, engineering. So I'm interested to see. Oops, not engineering. Sorry, mech bay. There's there's what our engineering looks like. If, in case you're wondering, um, <laughs> let's go to uh, storage. So I got to decide, or maybe I'll let you guys decide. What should we put together first? The Marauder, the Orion. Uh, I think the Mackie can probably stay out. I think probably the Orion and the Marauder are going to be dollar-wise and gear-wise easier to put together. So the Marauder is one ballistic, four laser, and one missile. And I don't know how much GAC. So it says limb repair 43%, base tech is 10. So it's relatively cheap. I just can't see the rest of it down here, unfortunately. Um, and the Mara or the uh, Orion, I'll let you guys. I mean, I, I'm leaning towards the double ballistic because I'm pretty sure it's one in each arm. And if that's the case, then I think we can go back to like if we can get a couple of racks, go with a rack build or a pair of LBX tens or something like that, a pair of big heavy ballistics, and then round it out with some medium lasers and some you know, medium ranged um, missile launchers if we can get them. Um, but let me know what you think. What, what should we go with first, the Marauder or the Orion? I think it's, it should be one of those two, I think. And then uh, we can worry about the rest after that. The Wrecker we can bring forward at any time. It doesn't cost us anything. The Hunchback's the old version. It's just kind of sitting there. We can bring it forward if we wanted to. But then I think we can put together for the primary lance, I think we can bring the panther forward and that would round out the main lance. Use this as a fire support, like a, it's got one ballistic, one laser and one missile. So we could probably put like a PPC on it, an LRM launcher, and then maybe like a, I don't know what for ballistic, maybe a machine gun array or something. I don't know. It would either be that or the mongoose, but I would rather go with the, um, like this is a lot of laser and it would be another backstabber which is already what we're kind of running the uh, the Jenner and the Cephalus for at the moment which means then the Panther I think would re would definitely help the um, the Talos out I mean or we could put the hunchback back together and then use it as a like a, a fire support with like uh, LBXs in it or something like that or ultras or something but I'm going to leave it up to you let me know what you guys think we're slowly getting to the point now I think we can bring one of those mechs forward let me know which one you think it should be whether it should be the Marauder or the Orion I am leaning towards the Ballistic Orion but I'll listen to and like I'll entertain people with the with this version with the Ballistic Laser and the um, Missile I mean it, you could argue it's going to come down with what we have um, weapons wise um, but I think I'm not going to worry so much about that we can work on getting the weapons that we want to work towards once it's forward um, I can make it work like we can make the Orion work with a, with a pair of uh, AC-10s I don't think we've got the um, ultra ammo yeah we got one ton of ultra 5 ammo so we wouldn't be able to make an ultra 5 build go but we could definitely put a pair of uh, AC-10s in the Orion temporarily with some incendiary and regular ammo. You know, we'll put a double bin in for regular, which will give us like, you know, 12 and a half turns of firing and then a, a ton of incendiary, right? Which is like five turns of incendiary firing. Can you imagine getting hit with a couple of these things? Like 48 heat damage. So, I mean... We can definitely make the Orion work, and then uh, as far as the Marauder goes, like I think we're we've got a fair amount of um, laser weapons that we could probably get that to work relatively easily. We got a couple of PPC Donalds, ER PPC. We've got large lasers if we wanted to go that route, pulse lasers, you know, 
then we got missile racks and stuff that we could add to it, and then a ballistic weapon like we could add the LBX, I think, probably. Do we have LBX ammo? Is that one of the things we were missing, I think, is LBX ammo? Yeah, it is. So we couldn't add an LBX, but we could definitely add like an AC-5, or we could even add just the Ultra-5 with one ton of ammo. Right, it's 10 turns of firing on Ultra mode. So that could be added to it, or if we're really low on weight, we could add an AC-2 or something for the ballistic for the Marauder. That would be easy enough. Or even a pair of large lasers and the, a pair of Ultra 5s, just to start, or, or, or a single Ultra Ultra 5, and then maybe a pair of medium lasers. But I think one of the things we do need to get is um, double heat sink kits. Because we're kind of low on those things right now. Guardian, we're fine. Yeah, and then the core, we'd probably go with a 290. We just don't have a 300 core, but 290 is the biggest we have for that. We could drop it in there. We got energy accuracy, ballistic accuracy. So, so this could go in the Orion with a pair of AC-10s. You know, we do have the ability to add some stuff. So, I say we try and get that going. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Which should we go with the Orion or Marauder first? Um, and we'll start bringing that forward. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.